think about this digitization of the industrial world, we as a company didn't you know, go to bed one night and, and say, God, we can't be an industrial company anymore. We need to be more like Oracle. We need to be more like Microsoft. I, I, what happened was it happened more on an evolutionary basis, really based on the industries we're in and, and the technology we, we serve. If you think about a jet engine today or a locomotive or a uh, uh, MR scanner, so maybe, maybe a new jet engine might have 100 sensors on it. Uh, these sensors have the capability to take uh, continuous data about uh, the heat of the engine, the fuel consumption, the wear of the blades, uh, the environment that they're taking off in, a series of things. And, and a, one flight between New York City and Chicago produces a terabyte of data. So industrial companies are in the information business whether they want to be or not. Th this is going to happen in the industrial uh, uh, space. Now, now you add to that a series of decisions every company w needs to make about do I, do I outsource all that? Do I do it myself? Do I change my business model accordingly? And the decision we've made is that we just want to be all in. We, we want to treat analytics like it's as core to the company over the next 20 years as material science has been over the last 50 years. Uh, we can hire the talent. Uh, you know, we can evolve our business model accordingly. We need to treat our service agreements to share outcomes with our customers the same way an IT company might approach that uh, in the future. So in order to do that, we have to add technology, we have to add people, we have to change our business models. We have to be willing to do all those things. But the, the point I'd make to, to people is, if you think about today, 15 or 20% of the S&P 500 valuation are consumer internet stocks that didn't exist 15 or 20 years ago. The consumer companies got none of that, right? When you look at retailers, banks, uh, consumer product companies, they got none of that. Now, if you look out 10 or 15 years and say that same value is going to be created in the industrial internet, do you as an industrial company want to sit there and say, I don't want any of that? I'm going to let a new co or some other company get all that? Is, it, is that really what you've relegated yourself to? So I think all these things led us to say, let's build it. Let's see if we can be good at it. We may be wrong. We don't think so, but we may be wrong. But let's not sit back and just say, look, that's somebody else's job, or we're not good enough to do it, or we can't change. We're unwilling to take that as a fait accompli. We went through a process of kind of make versus buy, in versus out. So we basically said, look, do we want to make a big acquisition in analytics or IT? And we and analyzed a bunch of different cases and basically said, look, we haven't really, we, we don't have the foundation inside the company to do a big acquisition. Let's make. Do we want to partner or do we want to do it ourselves? We, we, we have lots of good software partners, but we basically said, look, we need to do this ourselves, probably. Let, let, let's err on the side of seeing if we could approach it in that way. So that was 2010. So we, we brought people in from the outside. We built a center in California. We started populating our businesses. So, so roll forward, uh, uh, we started doing applications with customers. We started building it into our service business, uh, things like that. I could give you a bunch of different analogies, but in the case of our locomotive customers, they have a phrase called velocity. Every CEO of a railroad could tell you their velocity. The velocity tends to be, let's say, between 20 and 25 miles per hour. This tends to be the average miles per hour that a locomotive travels in a day. 22 miles doesn't seem very good. The difference between 23 and 22 for, let's say, Norfolk Southern, that's worth $250 million of annual profit. That's huge for a company like that. That's one mile. So that's all about scheduling better. It's all about less downtime. It's all about not having broken wheels, being able to get sh through Chicago faster. That's all analytics. I'd say inside the company, we're about $5 billion in revenue. So this is from software, analytical applications, things like that. So we build up, uh, let's say, a population of applications. We get about, uh, let's say, we're approaching $500 million of productivity a year. And now kind of what we're trying to do is we're trying to 
uh, push that back inside the company as well. So, you know, we're selling it, but we want to get our own internal uh, company on the same basis, on the same platform, using the same skills, what we call the digital thread. We want the digital thread to go from engineering all the way through our installed base. And, and you know, we've made the decision that we're going to try to be both a platform company and an application company. So we, we have a platform called Predix, and then we're building applications on top of that. We're probably the only industrial company that's actually trying to do its own. And, and we're opening up our platform to our customers. We're saying to our customers, look, if you want to write apps, uh, applications on Predix, you're free to do it. I always think risk first, like most, like most CEOs. I basically say to investors, look, if all we did is we got more productivity, higher service sales, applications, you guys are going to love this. If we end up having the platform that works, this is a whole new company, you know? So you get that for free. But that's why I circle back and, and would say to any CEO, industrial or non-industrial, this is going to be the most important thing that, that you're going to work on, at least in this era, where we are right now. And you give up your latitude, you know, at your own peril on this. So we, we probably have hired, since we started this, a couple thousand just data scientists and things like that. That's going to continue to grow and multiply. Uh, what we found is we've got to hire new product managers, new different kind of commercial people. Uh, there's, it's going to be in the thousands. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to blend them with the GE team, and then you, we're going to recruit differently. So when we go to college campuses, we're going to look for different skills. We're going to put them in different training programs. So it's a combination of you've got, you've got to bring our culture along, but that's not enough. We've got to bring thousands of people in uh, from the outside. Th th that's, the only way, that's the only way we're going to get there fast enough. This is something I got wrong. I thought it was all about technology. I thought if we hired a couple thousand technology people, if we, if we upgraded our software, things like that, that was it. <laughs> I was wrong. Product managers have to be different. Salespeople have to be different. Uh, 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 On-site support has to be different. Uh, we, we've, we, we've had to drill and change a lot about the company. And then I, I just think it's, it's, it's infecting everything we do. It's infecting our own IT. It's infecting our own manufacturing plants. Uh, it's, it's infected everything we're doing, and, and I think in a positive way, uh, not a negative way. When you think about internal change, culture, people, leadership development, again, here's a, here's a time where multiple things happen at the same time. I think we started digital initiative maybe five or six years ago. Uh, we've also, as a company, now, I don't think GE is unique through this, you know, lived through the financial crisis, we're an old company, uh, we live in highly regulated industries. I, I think what we found was our culture was too uh, complicated to get the work done the way we needed to get our work done, both in terms of how we were trying to digitize, how we are trying to survive, uh, in, in terms of a more highly regulated world. And, and just, just think about uh, our footprint, even since I was CEO, when, has gone from 70% inside the United States to 70% outside the United States. Just the complexity of running a, a global operation. So what we've tried to do inside the company is really just drive this, what we call cultural simplification, right? Uh, fewer layers, uh, fewer processes, uh, fewer decision points. We've adapted uh, the lean tools in a, what I would call Silicon Valley approach, what we call FastWorks. So we've embraced some of, the, some of the Silicon Valley tools in terms of putting everything on the clock, uh, bringing commercial intensity into uh, the company. And, and, and the way I describe that is, as most big companies, we're willing to take all kinds of market risk so that we don't have to take internal risk, right? We try to say, look, let's, let's, let's actually be aggressive in the markets and let's count on our own execution to risk reduce inside the company, and then broadly getting to the digitization point, just democratizing information inside the company. J just getting IT tools that were contemporary in a mobile setting, and we call these things the culture of simplification. So, you know, my notion is we're in a permanently complex world, a permanently complex world. In this historical organization chart with lots of processes, that's kind of a thing of the past. We basically unplugged anything that was annual. 
So, so the notion is, in the digital age, sitting down once a year to do anything is weird. It's just bizarre. So we basically, you know, whether it's doing business reviews or strategic planning, we're on a much more continuous way. We still give a lot of feedback. We still do a lot of uh, how you're performing, but we make it much more contemporary and much more 360. So somebody can get uh, interactions with their boss on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, and the data you get is being collected by your peers, the people that work for you, in a much more accurate and, and, and fluid way.